Yo, 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 what is going on guys, and it's your boy RRB Plays here, back again with yet another FIFA 20 squad builder on the channel. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys an absolutely insane, one of the best 150k teams that you guys can get built around this Adele Tarak card. I know a lot of people are struggling to kind of build good teams around this card because, you know, his nation isn't good and the team that he plays for and the league that he plays for isn't very, very good, so it can be quite difficult to make a good team around around them but I've made a good team around them don't worry guys I've made an insane 150k hybrid built around this to right card and I will show you guys what that team is but before I just want to make something clear that the price of this team this is a 150k team but it does not include the price of this SBC to right card all right so if you guys don't have this card already this will cost you like an extra 30k if you guys already don't have players in your club and things like that all right I just want to make that 100% clear so I don't get any comments down in the uh, in the comment section below but yeah yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it if you guys do enjoy these uh, squad builders then make sure that you guys do go ahead and subscribe like the video and turn on post notifications so you guys never miss an upload but it has been your boy RB plays and that's it guys enough talking from me we're gonna jump straight into the squad builder baby let's get it let's go <laughs> Okay, so guys, as you guys can see on your screen right now for this insane 150k team, the formation I recommend you guys use is actually the 4 3 3 4 variation formation. Now, I want to make one thing clear as well. As you guys can see, Tarat is in this center mid position, but he'll be playing Cav in the same formation. But what you want to do in game is literally switch the player that's going to be here in this camp position in game um, with Tarat. Alright, it'll make sense, which I've shown you guys the whole team, but just make sure you guys watch the whole video at least. Um, so I get to this camp play so you guys can actually see what I'm talking about but for now we're going to jump into the first player of this team and in the striker position we do have an insane screen card a card that you don't see too much right now on a FIFA 20 but it's your boy Scream a Gomero man an absolutely insane card a very very good card a clinical finisher he's only got 80 this style 82 finishing but in game I'll tell you something man he does finish his dinner he also does have 85 sprint speed 89 acceleration as well as 87 attacking positioning so he's Get himself into those good positions to get shot off. He also does have 90 agility, 85 balance, 80 ball control, 85 dribbling, 90 composure. Man, his finishing ability is so so good. And that's what I do like about Gamero. Yes, I know he's only the three star skill piece, but to counteract that, he does have four star weak foot, so it's not too bad overall, man. But this Gamero card is a very underrated card, but a very very overpowered card. So I do recommend that you guys go ahead and use this Gamero card, man. But let's move on now, guys. Let's move on into that right wing spot and we do have my favorite right winger in this game man an absolute beast of a player man he goes by the name of Usman Dembele and if you guys watch me a lot you guys will know that I love this guy to bits man he is absolutely insane and as I always say he's a five star five star beast man he's a speed star a clinical finisher I mean the stat there only says 79 but I'll tell you something if you if you've used Dembele you're if you use them enough you'll know that his finishing feels uh, a lot higher in game than 79 man absolutely yeah, just a beast of a player 93 sprint speed 94 acceleration 89 agility 85 ball control 89 dribbling and 82 composure just an absolute beastly player man so so overpowered in fifa 20 and i'm pretty sure that you guys watching this video right now know how insane he is but let's move on in towards that left wing spot and again we have a player that again you don't see too much but is a new card in this game relatively new anyways a team of the week's moments card he actually gets a strong link to Adelta rat and he goes by the name of rafa man i remember using this guy in like fifa 15 I, I literally i don't know how but i just remember using him in fifa 15 man but he is a, pre a pretty insane card if i do say so myself as you guys can see man he's very very sweaty that's one thing he is he is extremely sweaty he's got 96 sprint speed 93 acceleration 88 attacking positioning and 78 finishing and he's got 91 agility 84 ball control 89 dribbling and 82 composure man so agile very very fast a good finisher of the ball as well he's got four star skill moves as well just to put the icing on the cake but unfortunately he does only have three star weak foot but other than that man this card really just is insane and again another sweaty card that we do have in this team but let's move on now in towards that cam spot but then, like I said man this isn't this isn't really a cam this is a box to box sentiment but we're putting him here um for chemistry reasons all right guys so we actually do have Frankie D 
De Jong, who obviously, like I've been saying to you guys, isn't going to be playing um, in this position in this position in game. You guys should just switch these two. You can create a custom tactic preset um, just to do that if you want, or you can even just pause it and switch it in game. But just make sure when you go into a game, you do switch these two. Okay, you want you want to to be playing Cam, but literally, man, um, De Jong is just an insane box to box midfielder, man. He's good attacking, he's good offensively, sorry, and uh, he's good uh, defensively as well. He's got some good dribbling, good passing as well. He really is a well rounded card, and that's why I do like Frankie De Jong, man. He can attack, he can defend, he can create chances as well with his uh, dribbling and passing ability. So, Frankie De Jong is a, a, a very, very good card. And also, if you do have some more money, you can go ahead and get some, um, some of his informs maybe, um, as an upgrade. Um, but to partner up with De Jong and Tarat in the midfield, we do have yet another Barcelona player and he goes by the name of Arturo Vidal, man. Again, another box-to-box -box midfielder, another overpowered card in this game. Yeah, she does have a flashback card, which is very expensive and I'd love to get my hands on that flashback card. But this card here, this gold card is still a very, very overpowered card, man. A beastly card, an insane card. Four star weak foot, as you guys can see. He's not the fastest for a sentiment, in my opinion. So you could use like a catalyst uh, chemistry style there just to increase that pace a little bit. But other than that, man, he, he is just an absolute beast, bro. Defensively, as you guys can see, he's an absolute rock. He is a stud. He's just dominant in that midfield position. He's got 85 uh, uh, interceptions, 82 defensive awareness, 87 stand tackle, and 88 slide tackle. He also does have 83 strength and 85 jumping he's just a well-rounded player man 83 ball control 81 long pass 82 short pass and then he's attacking attributes there 75 finishing 84 shot power 82 long shot so like i've been saying man you just can't go wrong with vidal man just an absolute beast of a card so make sure that you guys go ahead and uh pick him up but moving on now moving on we do have um, Samedo in this right back spot man and Samedo again just like Usman Dembele one of my favourite right backs I mean before I got footless mud quit I was using this guy pretty much in every single team bros I absolutely love him I love him to bits man as you guys can see he's played a lot of games for me and I, to be honest I've, I've stopped uh, using him recently like I said man when I got footless mud quit um, I stopped using him because I really rate my quit in this game man he's absolutely insane but Samedo man he, he gets that strong link to my PK he's just an absolute beast man 4 star skill moves as you guys can see there that's a just insane he's a speedster just sweaty good defensively very very agile not bad going forward as well because he's like dribbling and his passing isn't too bad either man. i mean just samedo is just absolutely insane man he really is just a beastly card and i'm pretty sure that you guys know already man because a lot of people still do use this card and at the start of fifa as well um a lot of people did like to use samedo so uh yeah like this card man just absolutely insane definitely one of the best right backs that you guys can get right now in a uh, fifa 20 and he'll always be one of the best right backs like you guys can get no matter what time it is or FIFA man even when team of the season is out man he'll still be one of the best he really is just insane so uh yeah let's move on now and towards that left back spot and we actually do have Grimaldo his normal 83 rated gold card not too bad of a card if I do say so myself relatively fast good um attacking stats as well in terms of dribbling and passing as you guys can see there he's got 84 sprint speed and 86 acceleration he also does have 84 agility 83 ball control and 84 dribbling and then also man is the Defensive stats aren't too shabby Alonso if I do say so myself as you guys can see he does have 80 slide tackle and 79 stand tackle so Grimaldo isn't too bad in my opinion man I do recommend that you guys go ahead and get him he will do you a good job on that left hand side in the left back position man because he is quite um good defensively and he's got a bit of, and he does have a bit of pace about him as well but um yeah let's move on now into that center of barcade partnership position now let's go here in the right center back spot we do have PSG's Presnel Kimpembe Presno Kempempe, man, an absolute rock, an absolute stud, such a beast of a player in this game, bros. Very, very pacey for a centre back, in my opinion. As you guys can see there, man, he's got 77 sprint, sprint speed and uh, 73 acceleration. He also does have 70, um, not 70, 81 slide tackle, 81 stand tackle, 79 defensive awareness, as well as 84 strength, man. He really is good, and he does have 83 interceptions. But when you go in game with this guy, when you go into a game and you play a game with him, you're gonna feel how physical how strong how much of a dominant force he is in that center back spot but 
literally guys to partner up with Kim Pempe. We do have his PSG partner, uh, Marquinhos, man, an absolute beast of a player in this game. Again, just like Marquinhos, uh, just like Kim Pempe, Marquinhos, man, in that centre back spot, you can feel how dominant he is. Literally, man, he's pacey as well. He's kind of like an upgraded version of Kim Pempe. He's pacey. He's got 87 slide tackle, 87 stand tackle, some amazing defensive stats there. 86 defensive awareness, 86 interceptions. He's only got 75 strength, but again, in game, man, I'm telling you, you can just feel his presence. He is a presence in that center back spot he is a rock he is a stud a tackle attackers struggle against this uh, against the center back card man so i do recommend that you guys go ahead and get marquinhos man an absolute beast of a player bros he is just absolutely insane just so so overpowered in this game but moving on now in that goalkeeper position to finish off this insane 150k team built around to rat we do have navas in goal halo navas for psg in the goalkeeper position bros absolutely insane goalkeeper man as you guys can see he's got 90 diving 90 reflexes 81 handling and 82 positioning man he really is a good player in this game an overpower beast in this game bro so make sure you guys do go ahead and get him but make sure more importantly guys you go ahead and get this team bros as you guys can see this is a team done and dusted a 150k team built around remember so it's not including the price of this card but built around a delta rat man like i said bros it's pretty hard to uh to build a team around him but as you guys can see we've built a pretty over uh, overpowered team around um a delta rat man he just absolutely he is just insane bros he really just is insane this Tarat card um make sure that you guys do switch De Jong and Tarat in game so Tarat is in that striker position and uh yeah man that's pretty much it let me know your thoughts of this insane team down below in the comment section also give a rating that give it a rating out of 10 but yeah man if you guys are enjoying this squad builders if you guys do like these kind of videos then make sure you guys do smash the like button if you guys are new around here make sure you guys do subscribe and turn on post notifications so you guys never miss an upload but it has been your boy rb plays hope you guys did enjoy this video and i will catch you in the next one peace out baby